Hi, I'm Steve Dockery and welcome back to Moot Workshop. Today we have a sick iMac. It's one of the earlier iMacs. It's not the original Bondi Blue, but it is one of the five flavors. It's a blueberry tray loading iMac and it has a couple of problems. Let's start it up and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. That's a, that's a bad hard drive. That is one of the clearest examples of a bad hard drive ever. Um, so obviously it can't find a disk to boot off of. Um, and the other thing it's been doing, although it's not doing it right now, is that it would make periodic snapping sounds and the screen would jump. And so my concern is that maybe there's some kind of arcing going on. There's a bad component that's uh, shorting to something and that could be very bad. Uh, to get to that, we'll have to take it apart all the way down to being able to look at the power board. Um, so we're going to disassemble it all the way down to that point and see if we can figure out what's wrong. But at the very least, we're gonna replace that hard drive. All right, I've tipped it up on its front. I'm gonna start taking it apart. Um, since I'm taking it apart all the way to the middle, that's a long video. Uh, that won't be the subject of this video. Uh, so I'll make a separate take apart. So I'm going to start taking this apart and then we'll just go straight to what I found when we get to the inside of it. Here we go. That's the shield. Now we can see if we see any burn spots any place. All right, that's the flyback transformer. Apart from just it being a little bit dirty, it looks pretty as you please. And if we turn this around and look at the other side of the board where it's connected, it looks fine too. In fact, looking all over this board, at least the outside of it, I don't see any evidence of arcing. We turn the other board around. And it all looks pretty pristine as well. I suppose I could take both of these boards loose and look at them from the other side. But from what I can see out here, everything looks okay. So what I'll probably do is set this thing back up all in one piece uh, without actually completely reassembling it and just turn it on and let it run for a while. We'll do what they call burning it in. Okay, so I've put the, the hard drive and motherboard in that whole segment, which is basically the computer proper, uh, back on here. I didn't put any screws on it. I'm just going to be very careful setting this back up again. In the process of all of that, I managed to break the door off of the front of the CD-ROM drive, so um, to get that open, you have to just hit the little button that this thing would push. I'll have to fix that later. So let's plug this thing in. Don't touch anything in here now. It's really hanging open. And we'll start it up. Now the hard drive is going to make that nasty sound. We should be able to boot this thing up off of the restore disk. Let's see what happens. There we go. We're booting off of the install disk. And the hard drive finally gave it up. We're just going to let this run for a little while and see if anything happens. I don't hear any snapping and popping right now. Um, but I'd like to see if I can see anything arcing inside. So we're going to let it run. Well, we've let the thing run for a few hours and it's not popping and cracking. There's nothing more annoying than a symptom that disappears when 
you're actually looking at it. We call it the shyness effect. Uh, it happens when you take the car to the shop and it doesn't make that noise anymore. Or you go to the doctor and by the time you go to the doctor's office, you don't have that cough and your throat isn't sore and you just have to tell him how it's been. Anyway, so because I can't replicate the problem, I can't fix the problem. Um, I even thought, well, maybe the problem was that I had taken the metal shield off the outside and it had been arcing across to the shield. But as we saw earlier, there were no burn marks anywhere. I didn't see anything on the shield. Put the shield back on anyway, still nothing. So um, the best thing I can think of is to just, if it ever fails, then it'll fail properly. We can see what's broken because if it runs, it runs, right? So we're just gonna put it back together again. Uh, we can either replace that hard drive um, at the end, or we can replace it now. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll probably do it now before I finish reassembling everything, just because I can't wait to try it. And since I've got it assembled so it'll work right here, we can do it. In fact, it's booted off, as you can see, it's running off of the Restore CD that I'm going to use to set up the hard drive anyway. Now, you can't buy a brand new hard drive for this that's exactly the same as the one that's in it. Um, I don't even know if you can buy a brand new six gigabyte hard drive at all. Uh, but I was able to find a Apple branded six gigabyte uh, Quantum Fireball, which is actually not the same drive that was in this. I think that was a Western Digital. Uh, it's, in fact, it's still in there. I haven't taken it out yet. And um, it's the right size. As I say, it's Apple branded. So if there's anything weird about it to make it work in Apple machines, because you never know, it's already in there. Uh, I just have to take it off this sled that it came on. I got this on eBay for really cheap. Hopefully it works. There's no way to know. It was cheap enough that if it doesn't work, I'm not going to be heartbroken. So uh, let's take it apart, or at least the hard drive part, put this in, and we can update the system, and then we can put the whole thing back together again. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the computer here again. Um, the way this works is this. The optical drive has a spring that holds it in that it, link, that it links into. So if we push that in and pull it out, and we can unplug it. And as I'm always cautioning, don't touch anything in here unless you've like held on to the frame of this. The optical drives, don't squeeze them in the middle. Handle them by the edges. So there's the optical drive. I'm gonna have to put that door back on that. And there's the hard drive hanging out down here. There's the spring that belongs to that. I'm gonna slip that out of here. There's the spring. See, there's this edge that comes up. So make sure it goes back in that way or the thing on the drive won't, sna won't snag it. And then we have, the drive is on a sled in here. There's two screws that hold that in. The nice thing is they've marked all these cables that says CD end and main logic board end. So you can tell what everything's supposed to plug into. So now we grab this sled, pick it up and very carefully maneuver it around the cables. There, I just picked up the back of it just a little bit, and then it comes out. You see there's the connector for the data. There's the power connector. So disconnect the power. Disconnect the data cable. All right. So there's the old hard drive being replaced by the new hard drive, which hopefully, yep, yeah, it's going to fit. So we have two screws securing this on each side. And there's the drive coming out of the sled. Now we need to take the sled off the bottom 
of this, this piece secured it into some other kind of a Mac. It almost certainly came out of another Macintosh since it's Apple branded. Um, I don't recognize this piece. Um, some people may. It could be a sled from a tower of some kind. I'll have to look at the uh, G4 tower and see if it matches. Anyway, that's off of there. Now we can mount the hard drive into this. Now let's make sure we do it the right way. These tabs with the uh, screw holes are for the where the front of the drive is. So the plugs go on the back end. And there we go. As usual, put them all in kind of loose first and then tighten them up when they're all there. All right, now we're ready to put the thing back in here. It's just a reverse of what we did originally. We plug the cable marked HDD end I don't know if you can see that. HDD end plugs into the back end of the drive. Power cable also plugs in to where we came, where it came out. Now we slide it back in just like before. I'm going to pick up the back end of it just a little because that's what I had to do to get it out. And now it's in there. I just have to put the two screws back. Secure that. Now put the optical drive spring back in exactly the way we took it out. the drive and plug the cable in. And that just slides back until it catches that spring. And then settles in. There we go. This unit's all together. Now we just need to put it back in the computer fire it up and see if we can um, install the original system on this thing. Okay, so I'm going to take this and slide it back in from the top, just like when we took it apart. There's little tabs that go into the little slots on the back of it. There we go. Hook all the cables back up where they came from. carefully. Stand this up so that we can turn it. All right. Let's plug it in. See what happens. What we're going to do is we're going to start it up uh, off of the restore disk. So I'm going to hit the switch while holding down the C key on the computer. Ah, that's a good noise. I hear the hard drive spinning. I don't hear that nasty bad hard drive sound. There it is coming up. All right. Ah. 
and the hard drive does actually show up. Hard drive does open up. It's got actual files on it. Something called ton of fonts. Ha, huh, I wonder if I should preserve that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this and replace it with the actual system that we have on the, uh, the iMac Restore disk. But it looks like it is <laughs> it has 1.3 gigs free out of a 6 gig drive. So, yeah, it's a lot of stuff on there. So let us run the restore. Hard drive. Erase it. Should make it be exactly like it was when it first was shipped. Yes, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. It will take about 10 minutes. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. And there we go. That took a lot less than 10 minutes. So now we have all the original stuff. So let's restart the machine. Pop out that old, that restore disk. Now we're booting off of a newly restored internal drive. This is what you, you would have seen when you first started up this machine when it was new. With that incredibly ugly desktop. And there we go. There's the setup assistant and everything. We're not going to run through all of this. We're going to shut this thing down and we're going to reassemble it. Now all I have to do is put it back together. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Damn it.